Today I thought I'd go over an interesting little comparison between BPM and Bepl. Uh, it had been a while since I used a database adapter and um, I found it a little bit easier to test by using SOA than BPM simply because um, it, it actually was a little bit easier to uh, get the data uh, from, from SOA, which uh, I was surprised at. Um, I am particularly fond of BPM. I think it's just such a, a amazing way of looking at it. It's so much more intuitive than the Bepl process and uh, Bepl tends to be all over the place in terms of you know what it does and you have to really drill down to the deeper inner sides, inner parts of uh, Bepl to be able to see what it does and, and frankly it gets a little bit confusing as to where stuff is and what broke when and where. So I, I've find that the um, BPM process is so much clearer because you can see it stopped here or it stopped here and uh, you can look at each part more carefully. However, uh, I have to say that uh, creating this uh, was a little bit easier in uh, Bepl only because I didn't have to create the uh, process, the data business object and the uh, if I come up here to the BPM process. I didn't have to create the project or process data objects. So um, all in all, they were very similar and uh, testing it is exactly the same. Um, the only difference being that um, uh, the BPM is going through this way and the uh, Bepl process, process is going that way. So let's go and test it. We're going to come over here to our uh, get nth data BPM. Uh, that's kind of poorly named because it's Bepl BPM, but you can see how both both processes can really um, coexist. And we'll do the uh, Bepl process first. And so we launch the flow. And um, I actually like this interface a little bit better um, than what you see here. And, and I am making two assignments here. And then if we also come over here, it's the uh, just created this record here, getting that, that person's user. And uh, if we go back to uh, here, come on. And we're going to do BPM this time. And basically about the same time, maybe a little bit longer for that one. That was 354. I didn't really see what the other one was. Uh, but here you can see the BPM process. Now this is a little bit different interface, isn't it? And uh, you can see that um, the, the interface is different and you have to really click here to be able to see the uh, information um, and the processes. And of course, this is um, set to developer mode. So you're going to see a different information than you would otherwise. But it's pretty much the same. Um, although I, I have to say that I kind of like the SOA interface better from this point of view and just from quickly programming something. Although I do find uh, BPM to be far superior just as far as following a process through and being able to, to look at it in specific pieces and parts rather than Bethel, which you really, uh, in fact, you would have to look at it from this point of view. And then, I mean, how do you tell what's going on in this screen? <laughs> You know, does this come first or does this come first? There's no way of knowing unless you actually dig into the process and take a look. So that's why I have a little problem with SOA. It's not as intuitive as BPM. But uh, it is interesting to see how, uh, in this particular case, I found it easier to put this together simply uh, because it's a little bit better. Now, one other thing that I thought was interesting, when you come into the implementation and you do the data um, the data associations for the uh, service. In this one, you have an output, right? 
And if we go over to the Bepel process and we do the assign, is it this? Actually, it's the invoke. There is only the input. It knows that it's a writer and it's, it knows that there's no output, so it automatically uh, disables this one text box. So there's a little bit more uh, assistance, as it were, to writing these things because uh, the data, in fact, is different um, and what you would get to it and not get out of it. So uh, it is interesting from that regard also. And this, of course, was a little bit more normal because you're getting data from the database and then you are doing an output into the data collection of the, um, the data object down here, the project imp data do or data object. So uh, it's just very, very interesting to see how the two work. So uh, I hope that was helpful. Have a good evening.